Um, so thanks for catching up with me. I mean, we're supposed to, I'm supposed to be in Malaysia and we're supposed to be sitting down probably having a coffee or something, but we're going to do that. Um, <laughs> We've been chat. talking about it when we were in Malaysia, right? So. Yeah, 100%. So welcome to my show, uh, Sexy Aging. <laughs> Thank Super you excited. for being one of my guests. How I met you was I actually, you, you don't know this, but I went to KL Fashion Week one year and you were there and I thought, who is that hot woman? Um, she's gorgeous. And then someone said, oh, she's one of the princesses of Malaysia. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. She's like totally into her fashion and everything. I mean, you rocked it. And actually the same KL Fashion Show, um, one of my dear friends was rapping <laughs> on the, wow. the catwalk. So honey, um, so I think you were there at that show as well. And um, that's the first time I actually saw you. And then we connected, I think, through Instagram. Yes. Because, well, we may have met through Les Mills, a dance class, one of the Shabam or Body Jam classes, but I don't think we might, I'm not sure if we were introduced or not. No, that's right. And I think also we had friends in common. So it was like, I just knew of you from way back then. You know, a lot of people spoke about you and, uh, you know, what and, a, and vice versa. I mean, I, I saw photos of you with one of my good dance friends and I was like, oh, she looks cool. <laughs> you know, like you're in your, your, yeah. your workout gear, your dance gear and stuff. So I think why I sort of connected with you was through dance, you know, the love That's of right. music, the love of dance. Um, and so you're doing Shabam and Body Jam and I adore those programs. And then you joined one of my bar classes virtually because we couldn't have our in-studio classes, obviously, uh, yeah. pandemic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lockdown, home workouts. <laughs> and then finally, you actually showed up in person and yeah. I felt like we just clicked. And we did. <laughs> it was like, it was like we'd already had this relationship and millions of conversations. I would send you voice messages through Instagram. So, um, and I think one of the things that stood out for me and the reason why I wanted to interview you today was we just dive straight into what it feels like at our age, our yes. season <laughs> age, to what, what the changes, the cha kind of changes that are happening to our bodies and things that um, are going on that maybe we're not 100% sure about. Um, right. So I just felt like there was a real connection with you. And um, so do you want to tell and share some of the things, <laughs> if, you're, if you're happy to? Because like we Yeah, were, yeah, sure. So well, actually, what, what, what was really, yeah. you know, I mean, you know, I know that a lot of people find it like a taboo, but I'm always like, you know, I always say this thing. I said, 20s is the age where you're like trying to figure things out. <laughs> 30s is like you're trying to prove yourself. 40s, you really, you already don't care. <laughs> you're beyond that. You don't need to prove yeah. anything. And you you are fearless. So, you know, that's what I would say about our forties. And, uh, and to be honest, my age is not a secret because every year the newspaper actually writes my age. So it's like, you can look it up on Wikipedia, but I just won't say it. <laughs> you can look it up on Google. It's there. I mean, <laughs> so I, I can't run away from that. I mean, when you told me, I was like, no freaking way. <laughs> so Let's say I'm in my forties, uh, down that end of the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's always something that we always tease when I'm in my gym classes as well, because my instructors also know. And I, they always, there's, a, they always have a nickname. They call me Granny <laughs> because what? it's like I know, but as a joke, you know, it's like yeah. so. It's like yeah, because we we embrace our age, and there's a whole group of us girls, and we're like we don't, you know, we're having fun. We enjoy our workouts. We we go every day to the gym, and uh, yeah, we embrace that. It's like yeah, so we we. You know, I always think like age should not be a factor to limit you. Yeah. And, um, you know, you shouldn't be able to say, oh, you know, I'm now at this age. I've got to take it slow. I've got to, you know, uh, chill out or, or, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm for that whatever reason. It's like, no, this is the time where each time you prove yourself that you can be fitter, stronger, faster. You know, whenever I do my races, my runs, I do 10km runs and um, 5km runs. Each time I go out and do a race, I have to beat my PB. It's just like a thing, you know, is that like I've got to beat my personal best. And everyone's like, oh, you're a lot older than me, but you, you know, you're in the veteran category. I'm like, yes, I'm in the veteran category, but you know, 10 no, KM, wow. I do 104. So I'm like, yeah. I'm trying to be the sub one, you know? So it's like, you'll get there. You'll do it. 
yeah. yeah no but now I sort of stopped running so I do I prefer a lot of the I do a lot of the Les Mills um, workouts yeah. and JC as you know I'm also a Shabam instructor that's a really ooh, ooh, funny ooh. story actually yeah, yeah dance hear that. <laughs> let's hear that story uh well basically uh you know I was like um, I was enjoying dance, but actually Shabam was one of the later programs because I started with body step. Then I was so into body combat, uh, which is the mixed martial arts. And um, before you know it, I started doing Shabam slowly and I was like a little bit awkward, like, you know, dance is a bit weird, right? You need to figure out the choreography, but I enjoyed it. And the more that you do something, the more that you practice, the better you get. And, you know, the more you let go. So someone said, you know, you should do the Shabam, the Les Mills um, IMT training, which is the instructor's training. And in my head, I thought, OK, why not? Let me try. Uh, but I had no intention to teach. I was just like, you know, maybe it's just to level up my skill. So, of course, I'm like the oldest by far in that group. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Oops. I was like, and then when people like asked the age, they were like, no, I was like, yeah, it's never too late to learn. <laughs> you know, that's how I always say it's never too late to learn or do something that, you know, you, you enjoy. So I did the IMT and uh, Ken, Ken Mun, as you know, is, was my trainer and he was brilliant. And he said, no, you should take it further. You should go and do the mentorship at Fitness First. So that's how it started. I was like, okay, yeah. I'll do the mentorship but I won't teach. It's, so, it's still in my head. There was this block, like, I'm not going to, you know, why would I get up on stage and teach people? It's just, I'm doing it because I love it. And uh, before you know it, I did my mentorship and I started teaching. I started doing replacement class. I started having a permanent class. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing launches with Uchop, who was our amazing presenter. Yeah. I was doing Reebok events. And I was like, where did this suddenly start from? You know, even my husband was like, I thought you were just going to do it for that. I mean, I didn't know you were going to take it to the next level. Yeah, <laughs> so, you took it to yeah. the next level. I took um, it to the next level. <laughs> that high achiever thing, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> you know, you got to give 200%, right? <laughs> so yeah, I did my right. AIM 1, I did my AIM 2, which is the advanced module training. Learned a lot about myself. But one of the interesting things when uh, my trainer was like, uh, Arnold, who was doing yeah. the AIM 1, he said, what's holding you back? And I was like, well, what, is, what does he mean? He goes, something's holding you back. You know, this is on the feedback evaluation. So I was like, okay. I mean, I passed and, and all that. So I dug into my psyche, like what was holding me back? And I think it was so many factors uh, was um, who I was, you know, maybe as a princess or royal, you shouldn't be dancing up on stage or teaching people. But yeah. it was something I was really passionate about and I loved. Uh, and secondly, maybe it was like the age factor. I don't know. Maybe. You know, like, why are you going to stand in front of like a whole bunch of 20 year olds and, you know, perform, feel basically? <laughs> you feel me? 100%. So, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, uh, maybe those are the things that are holding me back. And I needed to just let that go. Yeah. So that was one of my first steps, steps of just letting go. And the change was there. So when I did my aim two, it was, it was just brilliant because I was just like, teaching from my heart you know to and connecting with the audience and not thinking oh how do I look or maybe I shouldn't be doing this you know it's just like if you're gonna do it just do it <laughs> and that's the, the fearless the yeah. fearless side right yeah. it's just See, this, do is it if most, you want to. this is the most special story and the message is that you know you've got to dive deep and tell yourself you know or ask yourself what's holding me back you know because you found something that gives you joy, that gives other people joy, and there's no age barrier to that, right? Exactly, it's the exactly. Passion and love for movement and dance, and that's what you've brought to people, you know. And I know that you recently stopped teaching, and obviously there's a whole lot of reasons. <laughs> yeah, COVID being one. <laughs> Oh, COVID was like that, COVID <laughs> killed my career. <laughs> that ended my Shabam teaching, Bad which career. I do miss. I do miss well, that. Well, see a lot. for now. Like you might ask that question, you might go back and do another class with Uchop next minute. You're on stage. <laughs> Maybe. I, and I think that's probably the most special message from you is that you know, even you will ask yourself for all the things that you've been able to achieve and all the things that you're still doing, which are amazing, um, to ask yourself, you know, why am I questioning myself about this? That's right. And, you know, why am I letting my age hold me back? Um, yeah. 
So I think it's, you know, really unique and special and thank you for sharing that. I think that's also, it brings to mind um, finding something that makes your heart sing and keeps you young at heart. Absolutely. Yeah. And dance does that, you know, a lot of people, people, <laughs> I mean, you're a dancer, so you would know, but yeah. a lot of people feel like, oh, I can't do it. You know, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I'm saying you're overthinking. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter if you're not following or if you're not, you know, on the same page, you, we, you shouldn't compare. That's the thing, right? You shouldn't compare yeah. yourself to others. That's it's right. how you feel. It's how, mm -hmm. if you feel like, oh, wow, I love this music. It's just making me let go. And uh, I'm having fun, smile, sweat and having fun, which is what Shabam's all about. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that's, that's what, that was always my message in class. You know, you said, don't, don't compare yourself and, you know, no one's looking at you. <laughs> and I always say, you know, when I'm dancing here at home and doing my home workouts, I like, yeah, dance like everybody's watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, just like, you know, the star of the stage, it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> you know, if you put on the, on your Instagram live then and did it, everybody would be watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you've got reality and expectations, right? Yeah. So it's like, whoops. <laughs> Yeah. Um. So I. Yeah. I think. Um. Yeah. But I think also MCO. Uh. You know, with the COVID nineteen. Um. Being stuck at home, that also brought a lot of changes because you know it's like suddenly I wasn't as active as before. Right. Because before I would go to the gym, I walk everywhere. Um. You know, every day. Suddenly we're at home and it's a sedentary life. And even if I do home workout every day, which is what I do. That's yeah. only an hour. It's not much, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, so then suddenly, like all the changes were happening. You, you know, another birthday passes, and you're at home <laughs> with the birthdays. You know, and, I had my fiftieth um, in lockdown. Oh, that's crazy, right? <laughs> I managed to, you know, I think it got past. Sorry, interrupted, but I managed to get past um, so we could have up to twelve people in the house. And so I did manage to celebrate a 50th and I'm, right. I'm feeling really grateful, but it was not the sort of Ibiza dance party I envisaged. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, for me, I think when I turn 50, I won't be doing any parties. You'll just have me, you know, suddenly <laughs> off radar. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> That's what she says. That's what she said. Yeah. That's what she <laughs> said. But um, yeah, no. And then with MCO, that a lot of things, you know, physical well-being was put into question, mental health. So I was doing a lot more of, um, you know, meditation, and uh, and then I was like, wow, you know, like hormones. So I was like, you know, I mean. At the end of the day, is it stress related that you're at home not doing the things that you normally are used to doing? So yeah. there was this massive change. So everything sort of, you know, threw that into question. And then I realized like, you know what, just just live with it. Let go, accept, you know, it's all about acceptance. So a lot of people try to fight their age, you know, want to look younger or, or this, you know, it's just like accept it. And there's a lot of role models out there yeah. uh, who look amazing, you know, it, look, look at Jennifer Lopez. She, oh. She's like <laughs> idol. Shakira, I, I don't know how old she is, but she, you know, yeah. she's still rocking it. Those Kelly girls are Perry. holy. Yeah. yeah. You know, even like my favorite, I love the Aussie girls, Kylie Minogue. Oh. <laughs> she's still, <laughs> she still is great. You you know. I mean, she yeah. can rock those gold pop pants, you know, <laughs> right? Yeah. I actually use that song in my bar class to motivate people. But since everyone's coming is around 20 years old, they don't know the song. <laughs> you know, you know, when I teach Shabam and I make reference to Madonna, they just look at me and I'm like, okay, I got to change it to Lady Gaga. <laughs> you know, when there's that age gap, yeah. like, you, know, you got to work it like in Madonna, express yourself. And they're like, what, Where? what, Vogue? <laughs> Vogue, what? Yeah. Go back to oh, Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> Lady Gaga. You're yeah. all familiar with that. <laughs> or Blackpink. Now it's all the K-pop, right? That's right. That's right. And they don't, well, I probably, I'll save my opinion on that. So something to do with talent, what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> what's your top tips that you can give our audience for feeling young? Other than dance, I think this is our shared passion. And I think definitely the two of us can say that dance keeps us young, right? Not only through yeah. the music, but the way that it makes you feel. So what's yeah. your other top tips that, you know, helps you feel I think, young? I think definitely to do, to, to do things that make you happy. You know, you've got to let go of all the stuff that, you know, when we went through our 20s and our 30s and all of that, you know, now when you hit your 40s is when you're like, I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> it's about, you know, owning it. 
you know, <laughs> and uh, being fearless about it. And so I do, you know, I read my books, you know, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, I do a lot of uh, what else, you know, being active, I think yeah. it's about keeping you young. And I know that's really hard during home lockdown, <laughs> you know, to be active, like how do, and I think that was one of the things that I, I struggled with last year was like, you know, I'm such an active person. A lot of people still call me like, you know, the energizer bunny. <laughs> you know and it's suddenly like we're at home and I'm like oh you know it's um it's 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 not easy so yeah so I think it's trying to find new ways accepting it letting it go um and do what makes you happy if it, it makes if it's cooking if it's uh you know I don't know reading or whatever learn I always say keep learning keep you know learning. The, it's 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 all about it's in your mind it's all in your head at the end of the day right oh, so I'm if you're that. able to learn a new language don't think oh you know maybe I'm like too old to go to class <laughs> no there's no such thing go yeah. go learn something you know keep the mind active keep your brain active and so uh, you know that 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 keeps you young you know I yeah. think I agree hey talking about books and um yeah. So I just finished this one and I was going to recommend it to you. It's mm -hmm. called All the Young Men. So oh, I'm not really? sure if you've read that one. And we are sharing book recommendations to each other. But do you have a book that you would recommend right now that sort of touches your soul and talks to about to women, you know, in our vintage? Is there any books that you can? Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of um, great autobiography, like memoir books out there, I think. You know, I mean, I think one of the great ones that is still really inspiring is Michelle Obama's Becoming. Yes. That one is, yeah. is, uh, is a reason there's a top seller and it reads and writes really well. Um, uh, but I also think, you know, there's uh, some, some sort of, you know, fiction, fiction novels and they really dig deep. And one of my favorite ones last year was Where the Crawdads Sing. I know it sounds like a really weird title. Yeah, uh, but you've got to look for it. It's a yeah. beautiful story about this girl and, it's I won't give too much away but it's she's pretty amazing this yeah. story about this girl is pretty amazing so where the crawdads sing was my favorite book last year but there's also others like um this memoir by uh called educated I read educated another woman uh you know empowerment brilliant right yeah, brilliant yeah absolutely uh, so awesome. educated mm -hmm. I loved there's, there's so many yeah educating yourself through adversity and yeah was awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add, add all those recommendations in our show notes so that the readers can look for them and, you know, be inspired as well. You've been such an inspiration to so many women, you know, not just in Malaysia, but all over the world. I mean, here I am sitting in New Zealand and my heart is beaming. It's been um, such an honor to interview you today. And, um, let's stay in touch <laughs> thank you no it's uh, thank you so much for having me and uh, i'm really looking forward to this podcast i think you know when we can talk about things so freely it's uh it's it's what is important because a lot of people feel like oh you know i i can't talk about it or you know because you know like if you're going through perimenopause or menopause or all these things it's like oh it's like a you know a hush hush words and yeah. you know you just gotta you know stay quiet and you know google it <laughs> so you know like you just get confused by whatever you read it's called, it's yeah. called men no pause because it's made up by men so oh, right <laughs> i like that right. pause button <laughs> yeah yeah and putting a pause on the rest of your life um yeah it's not it, i mean 50 percent of the world are about to experience it so um you know we're just going to yeah. open the doors them and, and to be honest I think I'm a lot happier nowadays than I was when I was in my 20s you know I'm yeah. a lot freer um and I'm more sure of myself I know what I like and I know what I don't like <laughs> so it's like you know and yeah. quite quite happy to vocalize it too if you don't like yeah. it don't look yeah <laughs> I, I love some I mean you posted today on your Instagram a absolutely drop dead gorgeous of you a uh, picture of you in a shong sum celebrating yeah. Chinese New Year you were sexy and on fire and that's what this is all about so rock thank it. you rock, rock it, it. Inspiring. <laughs> thank you so much thank you tracy we miss you here in malaysia <laughs>